Well, it was an exciting week in sports, especially on the court and in the ring. For the latest news and notes, here's Sonny Young with the sunny side of sports. Hello, Sonny. Hello, Vincent, and sporty greetings once again to our Africa 54 viewers. Let's tip off with the FIBA Basketball World Cup in Spain. The USA successfully defended its world title by trouncing Serbia 129 to 92 in the final in Madrid. Number 10 Kyrie Irving for the USA made all six of his three point attempts and led the Americans with 26 points. After the big victory, Irving hugged backcourt partner James Harden, who had 23 points for the USA. Harden lifted the trophy as golden confetti rained on the American players. Let's hear now from the Basketball World Cup's most valuable player, Kyrie Irving. America, so, you know, for me, it was just taking advantage of every opportunity I got with these guys, uh, every opportunity I got with the coaches, just trying to learn from them as much as possible to take back to my team. And, you know, for me, it was just enjoying every single day because, you know, nothing was guaranteed. And, uh, you know, regardless of what everyone said, uh, you know, this one right here, it, it means a lot. That's Kyrie Irving of the world champion USA men's basketball team. Now let's go to the western U.S. city of Las Vegas, Nevada for a world welterweight championship boxing rematch. Unbeaten Floyd Mayweather landing a left jab in the photo. Won his 47th consecutive fight, beating Argentina's Marcos Maidana by unanimous decision. Two ringside judges scored it 116-111 to 111 for Mayweather, while the third had it 116-112. to 112. Mayweather says he felt sharper in his first fight against Maidana. The 37-year-old American star has two fights left on a lucrative six-bout deal with Showtime Cable Television. I'm VOA Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports. Vincent? Well, thanks a lot, Sonny, and be sure to watch the sunny side of sports every Monday and Friday right here on Africa 54.